So yesterday, the news broke that Betty White had passed away. Uh, she was an absolute legend, and it's sad to hear, but she did have a great, long, successful life, and hopefully she's in a better place. Now, you think that would be the end of it, but of course, social media is going to do what it always does, and I, of course, covered that because, well, you can't really say anything about Betty White because she has an extensive list of receipts backing up the things that she's done throughout her life. Like, for example, this, which I covered yesterday. Uh, live with it. Betty White defied racist demands in 1954, where she allowed this gentleman onto her variety show, and studio executives actually tried to tell her she was not allowed to do that. Uh, so she was someone with real conviction in a time period where it actually made a difference. Unlike today, where it's literally just people trying to make them make things up to feel better about themselves. So you can't really pull the whole, you know, trying to smear her the moment that she passes away. A couple of people tried and they were quickly ratioed. But of course, Twitter is going to Twitter and Twitter wants blood every time someone famous passes away. So because they couldn't get her, they, of course, went after Queen Elizabeth. Now, this is the video that I made yesterday. I'm just doing a little follow-up in case you haven't watched it. Uh, so basically, the person who started that trend uh, deleted her account after getting destroyed. So this is kind of a positive story. So this woman here is who sparked this. Betty White is dead? Why couldn't it have been Queen Elizabeth? So basically saying, well, we need someone else to go to, you know, it's disgusting. Like someone, someone has to be dragged during a death. They can't just mourn or ignore it. No, uh, the mob wants blood. And here's the person who sparked it. And it turns out she's a U.S. journalist who has written pro Meghan Markle articles. And she's who sparked the art, the outrage by joking about the queen and how it should have been her that died instead of the Golden Girls actress. And it's funny, like, she got some some bad reactions. I would go and show you, but she deleted the tweets. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Wait, hold on, excuse me. She didn't delete the tweets. She deleted her whole damn account after locking it. So first she went private. And then she locked her account completely, <laughs> which is pretty funny because usually this gets extremely celebrated and loved and, you know, the blood mob gets what they want. This was a good substitution for them because, well, they can't drag Betty White because she has so many receipts showing all of the good things that she's done, especially in a time when it wasn't popular. Well, what, we can, what can we do then? Well, uh, we can use our pro Meghan Markle shit to say the queen needs to die, which is exactly what they're doing here. And it's funny, like, she got dragged pretty hard for this. So you can see up here, uh, delete this, you disgusting piece of work. What a truly horrible thing to say. Twitter support, what do you have to say about this? Of course, they don't care. Uh, they, allow, they allow this because they know it helps their platform by allowing uh, the blood mob to go after things. It's literally what Twitter is. Twitter is about destroying people's lives. And they know that that's a large part of their platform, so they're never going to change it or have any kind of terms of service that stop stuff like this. They're always going to allow it because they know it's their bread and butter. It's all they have now that Trump is gone because what used to drive the platform was going after Trump. And that was like a large portion of their traffic. And that was gone. They actually heard a little bit from that. And, you know, now they can just lean into this shit. Just snuck in as one of the most violent, offensive tweets of 2021. Uh, Nyla at Yum, Yum Coconut Milk with a tweet of pure nastiness and hate. You have to feel sorry for these people and their supporters. And that so supporters that think such tweets are acceptable. Again, the mental illness of and hate of let, leftism strikes again. A lot of people going after. Shame on you. Delete your miserable account. And this guy says this in response to this where she doubled down. Uh, so Dan Wutan said, what a revolting thing to say. Shame on you. And then she retweets him and says, 
But you didn't answer my question, Dan. Why not, Queen Elizabeth? The universe took the wrong old white lady, shaking my damn head. And he points out she doubled down. So she did delete her account. People say bye-bye career. They will probably say it didn't breach any of their rules. It was about a white person, which is true. So, you know, a little funny. Uh, I'm sure she'll be back. So you can deactivate your account and just come back. And I think that's probably what's going to happen here. The account won't be suspended. Uh, it's just deactivated. See, the account doesn't exist. So she deleted it. Uh, she will likely, she will likely bring it back. But it's another U.S. journalist doing what they do. Uh, nasty, enemy of the people, basically, is what uh, this person is. And of course, also a pro Meghan Markle who's uh, disgusting and wants to take away freedoms. She's going to run for an office, I guarantee you. And I, I do believe the rumors that Megan wants to run for the presidency. Watch it happen. It's going to be funny, too, because she can't take any criticism. So she's going to get destroyed and uh, whine and cry. And journalists are going to say, they're only doing it because she's a, she's a woman. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.